What is going on SoFi fans? Welcome back to F Financial Journey. So when it comes down to SoFi, I think there's a lot of good reasons to buy it. I think we all understand that for the most part, but there's one thing I do want to bring up to you that is a little bit more systemic that's really holding it back. So I wanna talk about what that is and what that means for SoFi. Before I get into any of that though, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciated and with that, Let's get right to it. So when it comes down to SoFi, more specifically the previous earnings, we already know that it's been having a lot of good home run earnings, a lot of good stats, whether it be from the member growth, which of course member growth is that X factor, that goes up, products go up, deposits go up, everyone's happy. Over and above that, Riley did post 22 ways SoFi is growing in 2023, which of course means good catalyst and obviously will help the bottom line, the balance sheet and the revenue and everything like that. So when it comes down to SoFi, I think we already know that it is a long-term investment and that short term is gonna be very volatile. Some people are very much misguided. So a lot of people are very much blaming shorts that they're down and blah, blah, blah. So I wanna break it down, clear the FUD and why it's truly going down. So I want to start off by going over this. So that ownership allocation, I'm sure some of you are very much aware of this. 59% is held by the public. So definitely very good in that regard. 35% by institutions. So when it comes down to SoFi, this allocation can be seen as positive, but also as a negative. And what I mean by that is if you do compare this to its peers, it's night and day difference. So I just wanna show this to you. So as you can see, SoFi versus JP Morgan, Bank of America, and Citi. Of course, this isn't other FinTech companies, but when it comes down to it, I personally feel SoFi is really in competition right now with the big banks. As he's even said, or Anthony has even said in previous earnings, that definitely they are trying to take market share from the big banks. They're not talking about other FinTech companies, they're talking about the big banks. So as you can see today, Citibank, Bank of America, and JP Morgan all very much green today. SoFi down 4.77%. So just looking at that, they are in the same sector. So why is SoFi going down? Once again, definitely going back to this allocation is the result of this. So I just want to show you some things. So this is Bank of America, 71% held by institutions, 29% public. This is Citibank, so 74% institutions, 26% public. And this one right here is JP Morgan. Oregon. So as you can see, 71% by institutions, 29% public. So very big difference on both fronts. Of course, big institutions do wait for companies typically to be profitable. Right now, SoFi isn't profitable. Maybe tail end of 2024, possibly 2025, that is when SoFi is going to be profitable. Up until then, there's a huge amount of retail presence in it. And of course, what loves retail presence? Shorts. So of course, I'm not here to say by any means SoFi hasn't gone through its fair share of manipulation but I think some people and AKA retailers are just blaming shorts for absolutely everything under the sun and even more so blaming it for it being down roughly about 5% give or take. I want to break it down and clear out the FUD, like I said. So shorts as of right now, the short score is 73. Utilization is 100%. As of today, shorts did return 138,000 shares. So bringing the grand total to 105.54 million shares being shorted. Percentage of the free float that is shorted is 13.44. So when it comes down to manipulation, it's been very frequently seen based on cost to borrow minimum, often being negative. Insinuating that there is brokers out there physically paying people to short SoFi. But as of late, that's kind of uh, learned their lesson. If whoever the broker might have been definitely did learn their lesson. I haven't really seen that as of late. Cost to borrow average is 1.49%. So once again, like I said, it is a little bit more of a systemic problem that retailers are its own worst enemy as of right now. It's not necessarily shorts causing this damage by any means. It is just retailers. Retailers are just basically adding its own selling pressure behind the scenes. So once again, Again, it's a little bit more of a situation that uh, is really derived by this ownership breakdown. So once again, having 59% of the ownership allocation being held by retailers has its positives, but also has its very much big negatives. Because as I mentioned in the past, public cannot really move in sync and orchestrate a kind of way, whereas big institutions have their agendas and they do basically how they want it, especially if they do put down a lot of big money. When it comes down to SoFi, there's one thing that definitely stands out is the insider. So Anthony buying as much shares as he has, 
definitely is a very big confidence boost for retailers. So it goes kind of hand in hand. And once again, just want to show you the insiders are basically nothing when it comes down to the big bank. So when it comes to it though, SoFi has a lot of good opportunity going forward, AKA 2023, 2024 and onwards. But like I mentioned, I think it's just a little bit more of a waiting game. You need to practice your own due diligence. So whatever drew you to SoFi, and if nothing's changed in that regard, then stick to your guns. Of course, as I always say, I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence at the end of the day. So this is something that's really been standing out to me for quite some time, and I've been seeing a lot of individuals just blaming shorts, but in reality, it's not necessarily them. So I'm not here to spread any FUD. Of course, every company does start out exactly like this, this ownership allocation, a very heavy retail presence. Of course, once profitability does come, institutions do back up the bus and increase their position, of course, taking it away from retail. This is exactly what it's going to look like probably by 2026 or possibly 2027 as far as what SoFi might look like. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But as of right now, I just want to give you some basic technical analysis. I do have the 5100 200 day moving averages, boiler bands, RSI, stochastic and momentum. So one positive thing, despite the sell off that's been happening over the last little bit, retailers have been getting in. So give yourself a shout out in the comments below if you've been taking advantage of these prices stochastic there is that deviation so red line above the black showing a little bit more of a bearish sentiment as of right now our size currently at 42 and today we did actually break from the higher to the lower percentile of the boiler band so let me know your thoughts on that and so overall looking at a lot of the technicals a lot of which is very much bearish and so the trend might continue down unfortunately but when it comes down to upcoming q4 earnings for instance coming mid february or whenever it might be I think that might be a turning point. Of course, like I said, once they do obtain profitability, whether it be tail in 2024 or possibly sooner, who knows at this stage in the game, this is where a lot of institutions are going to increase their position, even though there might be direct competition. So that's my own opinion, of course. Let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. In addition to that though, one positive thing that's been really coming out is the articles. A lot more articles have been coming out saying and being very optimistic about SoFi. So once again, I think that's a very good sentiment behind the scenes. It definitely shows that there is a lot of good value. So definitely, if you do believe in SoFi in the bigger picture, Picture, take advantage of these discounted prices. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciated. If you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships, link in the description below, or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With all that said, appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on SoFi.